Sup guys, Hey King here, bringing you another live reaction to this week's One Piece chapter 958. Oh, we're getting we're getting close to 960, obviously, so we can complete that oh, number ten in a row, and then we got 40 more chapters left till 1,000. So, ooh, ooh, next year's gonna be a doozy. What's up, what's up, little key? You alright? Oh, my little key just came out of the came out of the out of the bed. He likes to sleep in there for some reason. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, last chapter we left off with the uh, review of the uh, Yonko Bounties, which was, I think, a first, wasn't it? We finally got a good idea of uh, what order of strength each of the characters were, and I believe it was Blackbeard, followed by Shanks, which I think was very... I believe it was Shanks, wasn't it? Which was very surprising, because we all assumed he was like one of the strongest characters, but I believe he was second, wasn't he? And then it was Big Mom... Kaido, and then finally, you know, at the time, it was, uh, Whitebeard, and then, uh, obviously Roger, since he was the king of the pirates, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of amazing to get that, uh, revelation, and I believe, uh, I don't know if it was this chapter as well, was it the chapter before that we found out about Grob, uh, or was it, was it last week's chapter, we found out that Grob was actually, you know, he worked with, with Roger to take on the, uh, uh, the rock pirates and eliminate them, and the whole concept of God Valley and what was there, so yeah, a lot of intrigue and mystery being uh, set up and now the question is what's going to be revealed about it. Anyway we're going on to the next chapter now which is called The Promised Port and we've got a new cover story. Well no it's it's, it's a continuation of the cover story which is Gang Mage's Oh My Family Volume 8. So your sisters. Lola was just in Dressrosa a few days ago. So yeah we've got a uh, Lola's sister and uh, Capone arriving at Dressrosa, what we assumed was Dressrosa, and some guy with a guitar is meeting with them, and obviously he recognises Lola, but uh, he mistakes her for uh, her sister, and pretty much tells her that, yeah, she was just here a few days ago, so now, yeah, obviously this, this, uh, this particular cover page arc is obviously going to have to conclude with Lola reuniting with her sister, was, was, was she called Lulu? I believe she was called Lulu, wasn't she? Lola and Lulu. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what the reaction to that's gonna be and how that's gonna come into the story later on. Because the last time we saw those guys was on Thriller Bark, right? And these big mysterious shadows appeared, and then we assumed something bad had happened. But then if you keep on reading, uh, at some point in 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 the storyline, we do see Lola's sister all safe and sound. I think so. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Obviously, they managed to get away from Thriller Bark, unless they're using it as their own personal ship. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's going on with that. Uh, anyway, guys, let's get on with the chapter then. So, page, 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 page three of this. Sailing on the calm sea, not long before the start of the Great Pirate Era. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! So, it's, it's birds singing in the trees, and we've got a shot of a ship in the war. I am... I am glad I joined you, Roger. Oh, oh, we're getting a flashback to go to Roger. Holy shit! <laughs> this was unexpected, and uh, yeah, we've got we've got Roger there, for, for, and there's there's Doctor Crocos, and then there's a uh, there's a dude with glasses there. Wait, let me go back. I need to I need to check something about the cover story. I swear to God, he looks like the guy in the cover story just now with the guitar. That guy, that, I don't know, his hair is a bit like that, whereas the other guy is a bit more that, but that was a bit weird. So, what's what's with all the sentimental crap, you softy? We're the ones who should be grateful, Older. Oh, Older, is he going to get revealed finally? And then Crocos is responding, you're about too much booze, Roger. You need to learn some restraint. And now them two are having a, they're having a bot head now, they're botting heads now. Shut up. I don't need to hear that from the biggest drunk on this ship. Ah oh, man, how awesome would it be if we got like an entire uh, flashback arc, uh, just just showing what these guys did, like 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 a one volume flashback arc, like. So now we're going to the next page, page four, and there's Riley and and Crocos and Roger are fighting in the background, and there's Riley. Le want to lend me a hand, older? And then the next panel next to him is oh my god, it's Shanks and Buggy. I keep forgetting that Buggy needs to be on the uh, needs to be part of Roger's crew. I'll help too, older son. Uh, you uh, and then Shanks like you're just getting the way, you idiot. L let me help instead, older son. Like Sh Shanks is just like manhandling Buggy, you know, like a bro, bro arm around his neck. And wow, these two look very cheerful and happy. Like who is older, man? Like everyone is happy, like happy about older. So now we get in his next panel uh, of a side panel, obviously at the back of the ship or the front of the ship. 
And yeah, we see older, but he's in silhouette, so we don't see his uh, features. Looks like a big tall dude. He's got a big cup of sake, obviously, that he's drinking. Some sort of a flat pan kind of hat, I think. Rylan, Red Taro, Buggy Jiro, Red Taro, Buggy Jiro, that's funny. I appreciate it, but this is an internal matter for the Kazuki clan. How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me Jiro? So that's Buggy, like, getting angry at him, stop calling him Jiro. I never understood why. Wano had to close its borders to the outside world. Okay, so Oda doesn't know himself, but he's drinking his sake now. We're getting this big, massive silhouette of him. Seeking to become Shogun after thoughtlessly abandoning my homeland may be selfish of me, but I will definitely make what I have envisioned a reality. The common Japanese male name endings, typically Taro equals first son and Jiro equals second son. So, uh, Shanks is referred to as the, fir as the first son and Buggy is the second son then. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I, guess, I guess because they're, they're kids, obviously, so they're, they're the younger crew members. Uh... Next part, page five, and there's there's older again. He's in silhouette. Like, uh, sorry, yeah, old, old, <laughs> older, older. Uh, he's in silhouette. You can't see where he is, and he's in front of all the. Uh, he's in front of basically Roger and his entire pirate crew, and they're just they're just drinking and cheering. Like, I am certain that with the aid of my, of my reliable retainers, I will be able to open Wano's borders. We shall f oversee the fruitation of this twenty-year-old dream. You can do it, Oda. I will, Roger. And so, 25 years have passed since that day. So now we're going back, we're back to the present day. And there's drums being beaten. I think there's some sort of celebration going on. And boom! Wano Country Act 3 officially started with chapter 958, guys. We are into it now. We're into Act 3. We're into the middle of the story. And obviously this is the... What's referred to as a, a uh, I, I forgot the name of it, the play basically, it's like a Japanese style play in it and it's got five acts. So now we're, we're in act three now. You can make the, you, you could argue that we're like halfway there, but I'd say we're halfway there once act three finishes because apparently act three and four are, are, are the longest. I don't know, I keep hearing act two is the longest in such plays, but now I'm hearing that no, f act three and four are the longest. So you, one has to wonder how big and long is this arc gonna, is, is gonna go on for? Like, holy crap, like, Act 2. Act 2 was like, was 32, 31, 32 chapters long. Act 1 was like 16. So, th these are like mini arcs in themselves, if that makes sense, right? So, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy to see how this all comes together. So, yeah, uh, we move to Hakumai, Port Habu. So, uh, obviously we're at some sort of port. I don't, I don't know if that's a big ship though, if it's cranes or not. Just big ass tower there, people outside, looks like they're waiting or celebrating. And now we're getting this big, massive cover page, page seven. Oh my god, and my battery's about to run out. So I don't know if I should hurry up with this. So we're getting we're getting reintroduced to Orochi. He's obviously on the tower and he's looking down and like yeah, he's pretty much pleased with himself. The weather is splendid today. This must be a good omen from the gods. Mo ha 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 ha! What a perfect day for a banquet. Lord Orochi deserves it. And now we're getting uh, we're seeing this other dude. I think one of his minions was on. Big ass forehead line like Marge Simpson, except without the hair. Uh, Kiyoshiro will be looking after the capital in our absence. Let everyone know. And now we're getting, uh, now we're seeing these other two members. Some dude with like a uh, typical Japanese kind of straw stale hat. He's got spots all over his face, and this other dude, big bushy hair, glasses. I think he's got like a straw in his mouth, like he's chewing on. Yes, sir. How unlucky for him. He cannot participate in the banquet now. Uh, they're talking about uh, Kiyoshiro, who we assume is one of the good guys. Uh, now we're getting a big, massive panel of the port. Yep, just, just, yeah, just uh, a few ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the big main ship. So you got like eight ships there. Uh, this is the largest port in Wano. It is surrounded by huge sea walls and lined with beautiful maple trees. Bright red leaves dance in the wind, binding farewell to the ships. Shogun Orochi, please have a safe journey. Take care. So Orochi's going somewhere. Obviously, he's going to Oshigima. Is that, is that what it was called? Omi Shigima Island or something? So obviously, he's going to where Kaido, I assume, is. Bring the booze. Let us make a toast to the maple trees. Lord Orochi, you should wait until we meet with Lord Kaido. There is no there is no need. To, uh, no need. He has probably started drinking himself, which is probably very true. Like, we know Kaido and his uh, love for beer and drinks and sake. A banquet for 40,000. This year is sure to be a delight like always. 
Once a year at Oni Onigashima, Onigashima, that's what the island's called, the two supreme leaders who roll over War Warno meet face to face and hold a huge banquet for their armies. Interesting. Well, to page eight now. Some dude shouting out, meanwhile, at the flower capital. Drink and sing to your heart's content. Today is the capital's fire festival. <laughs> And now we're cutting to the next panel. Obviously, we're back at the uh, main capital of uh, the flower capital. Obviously, is the main capital of of Wano there. So we're getting a nice big uh, little spread panel of that. Today is the day we are allowed alcohol. Bring all your drinks with you. Come and buy some candy apples. So obviously, there's celebration in the streets. And uh, next panel, I think we're we're, we're just cutting to Nami now here. And I think uh, maybe is that Robin outside waiting by the door? I don't know. I don't know if that's Nami or someone else. Come on, hurry now. It is starting. Wait, my hair is not, uh, is not staying in place. Uh, and then you got people dancing and singing and playing on instruments and flutes. Let's dance. Some girl, what clear skies. Seems like we'll be able to see a beautiful full moon tonight. Oh, the full moon. I forgot. Yeah, sorry about that. The camera cut off right as I said full moon. So yeah, what clear skies. It seems like we will, we will be able to see a beautiful... I forgot about that. So there's a full moon today, tonight, which also means... The mix are gonna go into Shaolin for, which is gonna be, wow, it's gonna be awesome, man. Seriously, if we don't get uh, Inorushi and uh, Nikomamushi transforming and fighting Jack together, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be disappointed because those two, they need to get the revenge. They need to get justice and vengeance for what for what Jack did, and I want to see those two teaming up and wiping the floor with Jack while we while the other characters deal with. Uh, uh, the other uh, uh, villains, you know, like a queen and uh, was it king? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I still say that. Uh, I still say that Zoro is probably gonna end up uh, fighting uh, Orochi with uh, with the other samurai. Like it's gonna just gonna be a full on sword fight, like with Orochi him transforming into his little demon form. Oh look at that! My uh, I just put a battery in, and this one's running out too. That's annoying. Let's, let's get to the next page then, uh, page uh, 9, so big massive spread here of, uh, of just celebrations, I don't recognize any other people in the background here, so yeah, they're just celebrating in Wano, the seasons can vastly, could vary vastly depending on the region and the weather is no exception, this means that the climate can be extremely unpredictable, uh, so yeah, we're getting another map of Wano, Kuri, Kibi, F FC, Ringo, uh, Hakumai, and then uh, Port Tukage, Wano Country, Udo, Udo, at the rendezvous point for the final battle. So there's a storm coming in now, and holy shit. Big massive spread, big massive storm. And uh, we've got this big massive spread of all of our heroes, and uh, obviously I think it's the Nine Scarabs basically, or what, what remains of the Nine Scarabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then behind them is uh, Shinobu with, uh, I assume, is Momonosuke, and they're looking out at that rushing, terrible sea at on uh, Onigashima ahead of them. And then obviously it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to get there. Kinemon, the, uh, Shinobu, Kinemon, this is impossible. Momonuski, we should change the date, Kinemon, and Kinemon's just like, he's just, mm, like, shit's just gone wrong for them, basically, and now uh, Raizo, not a single ship in sight, and Inorushi, so the damn cat didn't make it in time, and then, uh, who's this? Uh, this one's wearing, like, proper samurai armor, I think this is, a. Uh, is this the Shimo character, is this the, uh, uh, transvestite character, or... It, 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 uh, the, the, the dude who, who looks like a chick, basically. I forgot their name. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the hot chick. Well, the hot dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say hot, hot dude because, damn, he, was, he is hot. Like, <laughs> we were definitely able to secure Yudo. And then uh, there's Kawa, Kawamatsu, but none of the soldiers we recruited from the prisoner mine are here either. Ooh, right, what happened to that? And there's Konjuru. Where are our 4,000 4, soldiers then? And then there's... Uh, is that uh, Ashura? This port looks like it may have been attacked. It may have been attacked. Ooh, what does that mean? Page 11. This this smell has not rung. So they got the smell there and they're saying it's not wrong. Kinemon, and we cannot connect anyone. At twilight on the day of the fire festival and port to Tuga. This is the promised port. So yeah, uh, you, you, what's his name? Yashuri died and made uh, changed the uh, thing in it to let them know that they should come here instead but the last was the last chapter the chapter before we found out that there might be a traitor we know it's not law okay because that's way too obvious so why is no one here where did they all go seas are rushing it has only been one day what happened here 
What happened indeed? Ooh, page page 12, celebrations, they're carrying something. Uh, so now people are coming in and they're carrying this big, uh, I don't know, this big tower thing on their, on, on their backs or whatever. Heave ho, heave ho, heave ho. And there's a ki Kinemon screaming into the smile, Luffy Dono, where are you? Uh, Hayu Goro, uh, 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 Hayu, Hayu Goro Dono, please respond. Mo Mo Musketeers, Lord Dono, Jibimon. Anyone, we are the retainers of, of Kazuki Uda. After 20 long years, we have come to avenge our master. We were supposed to have been burnt to ashes, but we still came. But we cannot do this alone. Our enemy has over 40,000 troops. We need your assistance. Please, I beg. That is an uh, Ashura is just like, that is enough, Kinemon. Uh, Kawamatsu is just bloody upset. And Monomonosuke, man, like. What the hell happened? Like, everyone's just shouting at the sea. Look at the sky and the sea in front of us. Even the heavens have turned their backs on us. No one will come. And Kanchiru, something must have happened to them. There is no other explanation. And now we get the final uh, page, page 14. And uh, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the scarabs are just fucking disheartened. In Urushi, there is a small boat here, though. It looks newsable. He's getting this boat from the, from the, from the rushing sea. He's pulling it up. Momonosuke, what are you doing in Urushi? Stop this foolishness at once. He's, he's just picked this boat up. And, uh, I think he's going to try and sail there. Or oh, Ogishima. What exactly did Orochi scheme up? And now we're getting this big panel of Orochi. With these two little demon chicks at his side last night. An incident occurred. One Piece is on break next week and we'll resume in. Okay, so no One Piece next week. Which is sad and annoying. Because it's like, what the hell happened? So guys, uh, my predictions, we know we have a traitor here, and uh, the, it, it's pointing to two possibilities of who the traitor is. It's either Conjuru, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go through all the uh, theories explaining that. You know, if you go online and read about it, it, it makes perfect sense why it would be Conjuru. Or it could be Shinobu who's, who's tricking these guys as well. So that's two possibilities there. And they basically, they're the ones who went and told Orochi what, what's being planned. And he basically attacked the guys, and yeah, we, we have no idea what's going on now. So everything is gone to shit. This is usually the case. Uh, where, where, when a story is setting up a plan, uh, you know the plan is not going to go the way you expect. So it's always going to fall apart. So this is basically uh, a repeat of what happened in a... Uh, 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 what, what was the last arc called? <laughs> uh, I forgot what the Big Bob arc was called. Uh, shit. Uh, WCI arc? Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we, we, we had that entire plan set up, and in the end, it just went completely wrong. And that's pretty much what's happened here. So obviously, the traitor has uh, has done their deed and uh, destroyed the plan. But it's going to be curious what's going to happen now. And obviously, Nico Mamushi was... Uh, uh, a, a, an arrival for Nico Mamushi was basically set up here, like with Inorushi saying that he's failed not to arrive. But I assume he's going to be the big backup along with maybe Marco or the Phoenix because that has to come into play somehow, guys. You cannot just say, we're going to go and get Marco and then he doesn't show up. So he has to show up. Something has to happen that's going to make him come to Wano and help out with Nico Mamushi. So I do see those guys being sort of like the last minute. They're going to be the equivalent of the Ro or Rohirium or whatever. They're going to come dashing in and it's going to be it's going to be bloody amazing. Or maybe it's going to be the Straw Hat Fleet. I don't know. We'll see, man. But, uh, you know, shit is getting so up and it's going to be beautiful. Anyway, guys, this is the end of this chapter. I hope you liked it. As always, like and subscribe wherever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. And bye.